So I just wanted to show you a quick how to do your brows with a fancy, fancy brow pencil. So our brow pencils are super, super creamy. They have the pencil on the one end and the spoolie on the other. I almost always use this. Sometimes I will add in um, eyeshadow if I feel like I need to fill in more. Um, sometimes I'll use my brow gel um, at the very end to make sure that they're all laying in place on the days that they're crazy. But let me just show you real quick how I do my brow with the brow pencil. So little strokes following the hairline and just very gentle little strokes. I'm hardly pressing on my skin. You want to make sure that you have the the correct shade. So we have light, medium, and dark. I am obviously a light. Um, but just keep going with those light strokes. Just keep going, just keep going. And I just keep following my hairline. And now, when I get to the point where I'm like, I'm here and there's no hair, because my hair actually starts like about here, but I want this, I've already done this brow, I haven't blended it yet. And there's a reason for that. Because I'm going to start going up now, because this hair grows up. So your brow hair generally grows up right here, and then up and over. So little strokes, and then if you want to, if you if you feel like you need to do a, connect them for a unibrow effect, and do um, so you have symmetry all the way across, you can go ahead and just do little little strokes. That way you're not you know using your whole brow pencil on a part that's gonna just be wiped off anyway. But it's gonna give you the most symmetrical and even and blended effect. And I see like, I so I brought this brow down more than I brought this brow down. So I just need to kind of fill this a little bit. And you can see that it's uneven. It's okay. It's all going to get fixed. So now I can kind of go back and I can kind of add some more if I feel like I need to. My brows are never the same. They're never, never twins. Um, but at this point then you can take, you can do two things. You can take your concealer because you're going to want to take concealer and you're going to want to go underneath, clean it up, go on top to really accentuate, clean it up and accentuate your brows. And you're gonna take your spoolie and you're just gonna blend it. You want the beginning of your brow. First of all, you want your beginning of your brow to be in line right like with your nose and the inner corner of your eye. but you want that beginning part to be blended. You want it to just transition into your brow. You don't want to like, boom, brow now. Like, it's just not the look that we're going for. Not, personally, that's not what I go for, so. It's what I do. It's pretty simple. So then at this point, you can either just kind of blend that away like so. So then when you come in with your foundation and your concealer, because you're going to want to take your concealer a little bit in here and clean that up. Um, when you come in with your foundation, it's all going to, it's all going to match. It's all going to be where it needs to be. So, but yeah, that's it. Pretty simple. Now, like I said, if I felt like I needed to fill more in, like if you notice in here, um, 
and usually this brow is pretty good. This brow has a little less hair. So sometimes I'll go in with my, um, my eyeshadow with my angled brush. I put taupe for the best because that's good for light eyes or light hair. I put some eyeshadow on and then I just go and I just fill in where I need, blend it, and I'm good to go. So that's it.